Hi y'all, how y'all doing? So, um, I got a few minutes by myself in the car headed to go do a little retail therapy. Um, but yeah, so I wanted to get on here and say hello. Um, don't mind the mom bun. Um, anyway, I'm going to Marshall's and probably Dollar Tree. I don't know. I know Marshall's. Uh, I gotta get my husband, or see if I can find like a mouse pad for uh, his PC and stuff. So, um, yeah, I'm gonna do that. And I know I say um a lot, I'm sorry. I know a lot of people say like a lot too, but you know, yeah. So I'm headed there now and I kind of can't wait. I don't have no kids with me, no husband. It's the first time in forever. So, yeah, we're gonna have so much fun. Y'all tag along. Bye, guys. So, I've started realizing like our little bitty town we live in, I mean, it's not little, but we are on the outside of Little Rock, Arkansas. It is so packed. Like, there's so many drivers and I was thinking three o'clock would be a good time to go because it'd be in between traffic no honey everybody driving right now <laughs> but you know that's okay that's all right I ain't got nowhere to go pretty fast I mean I got a I got a um, me and my husband are going to some friends house tonight to grill and eat some barbecue ribs yes but <laughs> Anyways, uh, so yeah, we're going to do that tonight, and their little girl is so sweet. Oh, she's like 16 months old, and she is the sweetest baby ever. Her and my little boy, like, loves to play and stuff, and he's two and a half, but yeah. He says that Coraline is his girlfriend, so, you know. I don't think Coraline's daddy likes that too much. <laughs> That's his baby girl. Even though, I mean, you know, they're just babies or whatever. So, playing, you know, that kind of thing. But, yeah. Anyway, so I might be getting a new vehicle as well. Um, I've almost got my car paid off. So, I don't know if I'm going to wait until I pay my car off and then get me something else. And just keep my car for like the... Uh, Oh, I'm so tired too. I hadn't, I didn't sleep good last night. Me and my husband had us a mini date night last night. Like, um, after the kids went to bed, like we stayed in the living room and we talked and played games and all that. So it was fun. But dad was so tired, like so tired. Cause my baby woke up, which I mean, like I said, he's two and a half, but he woke up at like two thirty and was like crying and wanting me and didn't go back to sleep till like 3 or 3.15. And then, um, yeah. But, oh, my shirt, guys. It says, Strong Women Pray. I model uh, a rep, I guess you could say, for this shirt company on Facebook. And they have their own website. They offer sizzle and all of that. Um, but it's called Smiley's Creations and Designs. Y'all need to check them out. She can do tumblers, pins keychains, shirts, baby clothes. She's been doing pre-orders for boutique clothes. Like, she's killing this. I mean, straight killing it. And I've been repping for her for over a year, like a year and a half now. And I love it. Like, I, my whole closet, I have like a section of my closet that's like this big of nothing but her t-shirts. I'm talking about, I love, love her clothes because they're so soft and they fit good. They're, the sleeves aren't too short everything it's it's bomb so <coughs> excuse me I don't know where that came from but yeah so I'm fixing to be at um where am I going oh Marshall's I keep thinking I want to call it Burlington but Burlington is in Little Rock and yeah girl's not going to Little Rock by herself so yeah anyway but I'll see you when I get there bye guys by the way I don't know why I keep saying bye guys every clip well, yeah, I don't know about that. But you know how it goes. Anyway, I don't know. Yeah. We made it. I always
always get the same parking place every single time and I don't know why but yeah we're gonna go in there and do a little retail therapy Oh, that trip wasn't a success. So let's see what damage I did in a minute. I ended up going, you know, for me, shopping for me, and only getting me a couple of things. But that's usually how it goes. I did end up finding me a really cute blazer. I'm um, sorry, so up close and personal. But I found me a really cute um, Tommy Hilfiger blazer. And some socks. And I found me a little, um, I'll show this, a little handheld vacuum cleaner um, for my car. So, because I've been needing one and I get so tired of using those big gawky vacuum cleaners um so yeah i did that also if your daughters love um like the my life american girl dolls they have these at um marshall's and tj maxx i believe and right now they're on sale like they're trying to get rid of them and i I want to grab everyone because they look so cute and they're modest. You know, they don't look like they have makeup on. Nothing against people that wear makeup, but I mean, we don't do that. And I don't like the one, and I'm sorry, dolls is overdone sometimes with the makeup. Like it's packed on or whatever. So, but these are only 10 bucks because they have all the accessories, but they're on sale for seven or eight dollars. And the small pack is on sale for four bucks. But they're so cute. And, um, I found my husband a whole bunch of um, t-shirts. I got me a big pack of socks, 15 pair for eight bucks. I didn't think that was so bad. Okay, and who likes fidgets? Every kid in America right now, every kid anywhere right now, there's a pack with three fidgets for five bucks. So I got my son, the dinosaur ones. I got one of my daughters, the like dirt wing looking ones. Even if my son wants to play with those, whatever. Um, I got the rainbow one. I was showing people these and there was like grandmas and moms like going back there to get them. And then I found these. I'm hoping they'll be like the, um, I don't remember the name of the candy. I'll have to insert a video, uh, picture or something or maybe on the screen if I can think of the name. But the candy that looked like these, they were in a smaller pack so at Walmart um, and like different stores when I was little. And I really hope, I really hope it's kind of like that. I can't remember the name. Okay, they do look, they're bigger, but they do kind of look like it. So 
So I'm gonna try one. They're good. They're so good. They're oh, these are tangy. I'm gonna have to tell the girl in the checkout that these are actually sour and tangy. Oh, those are oh. If y'all find these anywhere, pick them up. They're zero um, fat, sodium, not very much sugar, because it's real fruit juice. They're, oh, excuse me. They're two dollars and fifty cents, two dollars seventy cents, something like that. A big old container. Those are so yummy. But yeah, I'm gonna go because I have people staring at me. But yeah, I had everybody coming up a while ago, like, because I was telling them about the, um, the fidgets. And they were like, oh, my granddaughter, my grandson loves these. And then they had single fidgets that was like, um, what is it? Transformers, um, My Little Pony and LOL Dolls. But those were like $6 by their shelf for one. I mean, if it was like my daughter's birthday or something, I would probably do that. But, um, there I go with the um again. But, it's not. So, yeah. I probably will go back. Because, I mean, my daughter's birthday is in five months. And Christmas is in five months. So, I'm trying to go ahead and start getting a few things now for that. But, yeah, so I got to get gas. And then I'm going to head home. We have to be at my friend's house in an hour. I spent a little more time there than I first meant to. But I guess that would be okay. You know, I had mom time. Uh, so, I called my husband several times in there. I was like, can I get this? He said, get whatever you want. And then I ended up only getting me like three things. So, you know, if you're a mom and a wife, how that goes. I mean, unless you're just literally made to like stop and get you something. It's like that. So, so the um, candy that I was talking about is Altoids. The sour, like, was it orange or peach Altoids? And the, um, like, raspberry and all of that that's the ones I was talking about that these little things taste like they are so much like them and they taste so good I'm like they're big I like the size of a peppermint and it's so yummy but yeah I'm so excited I grabbed those because I put them back and I picked them up again and I kept talking to the cashier about it and she said she had got the wild berry flavor ones and they were good but they wasn't like amazing so 10 out of 10 recommend if you can't get them at your Marshalls or TJ Maxx get them off of Amazon or Google them or something and try to find them because those are amazing but I found my husband several I think it was like seven or eight um, plain, like, um, they're not like a low v-neck shirt, but like a kind of a v-neck up here t-shirt, just a plain, um, like colors, I probably got every color in the rainbow, um, or more, <laughs> but yeah, so I found that and, um, for him, because he wears a lot of t-shirts to work and stuff, especially when he's on nights. And I thought it would be good for, like, church clothes, too. You know, to wear under his, like, church shirts and stuff. So. But. I had a really good day. Even though it was only for an hour. Hour and a half. Um. And I'm going to tell you. I had so much stuff in my buggy. I probably would have had, like, a $500 cart at the end. But I took everything out and, like, sorted it. And only left with a little bit of stuff. So. I did really good. Only thing I did not get was the mouse pad that I was hoping to get for Brandon. But they didn't have any. So I'm going to have to look around. Maybe Amazon a mouse pad. Because that's needed for his um, monitor and his, you know, for his like computer. So I have some somewhere, but I don't know what happened to them. 
That's been a long while back that I've not had them. So, but yeah, I um had a great time though, just being by myself. It was so weird not saying, "Hey, stop touching that! Don't do that! Don't do that! Stop! Stop! Don't do that!" <laughs> my kids are good. My kids are like amazing, phenomenal kids, but they like to mess with stuff and. I think it's because when COVID hit, we didn't go anywhere, hardly. And now that we are going places a little bit more and everything's kind of opened up and stuff, it's just like, ah, you know, them wanting to do everything, so. Yeah. Um. Which I don't mind. My husband's the one that's really strict about you go in a store, don't touch anything. You can ask to see something, you know, that kind of thing. But I'm not as strict, I guess, about that. But I get where he's coming from, though, about not, you know, touching stuff. I mean, if it's a store, like a home store that's got like a lot of breakable stuff, I get that. But like we'll go on the toy aisle and he's like don't touch anything just point at it and we'll you know we'll look at it but being less than like seven years old you know they're wanting to touch and grab and do everything so because everything's just so amazing and touch and feel is like a really big sensory thing i guess so but yeah i'm driving home now and I'm gonna grab my kids, make sure they're dressed in appropriate clothes to go somewhere. <laughs> they like to lay around and just play clothes and stuff. I don't need clothes with stains and stuff all over it when we're going somewhere. So they're going to um, have to get ready, have to fix hair and all that. And then we will be headed to my friend's house to have supper. This girl right here, you're probably gonna end up seeing her some because she's where it's at. She's my, my really good friend. I met her back whenever I was like 13, 12, 11, something like that. I don't know. I was probably a lot. Well, yeah, I think I was like 11, almost 13, or I mean, almost 13. I can't count, you know, apparently. No, like 11, almost 12, or just turned 12. And we talked for several years, you know, just on the phone we'd see each other sometimes at like a church event and then we lost contact from like 16 to like 18 or 19 and then we got back into contact and it's like we never quit being friends like it's one of those friendships that we just i mean our friendship is phenomenal and i love this girl to death i mean we will probably end up having some ins and outs or whatever but I love her and she's so sweet me and her get along so well and our husbands get along so well and it's really nice having a spiritual companion too because like that's one thing we're good with too so she's amazing but um i am headed home now to do that because we're gonna leave in about 20 minutes or no about 30 minutes we gotta leave about 30 35 minutes and um we will be going to their house so i'm gonna probably throw on a different shirt or something just to kind of yeah amp up my outfit a little something and probably redo my hair i don't know we go into their house i usually go and stained up messed up clothes because you know she's just that kind of friend like the other night she came over and stayed with me for a little bit and i just threw out you know you want to stay the night her, her little girl stayed the night which her husband works nights so that's you know that is kind of why so yeah anyways i hope you all enjoyed this video of me rambling i'm about to head to the house and have fun tonight so i hope you all have a wonderful day and God bless you all. And remember, if you're not subscribed, subscribe. I mean, I have random videos all the time. And 
it may go months without uploading, but I will upload one sometime or another. So, yeah. Thanks, guys, for watching. Bye.